watching Flight Steinberg's YouTube channel. Wow, so many people watch my Minidext video. I totally didn't expect that. So today I'm going to try to create a patch just using Minidext in its standard configuration which kind of looks like this. And then we'll see how useful the user interface actually is. I'm going to create some kind of evolving pad with a bit of shimmer effects today. From a previous video you might already know that mini text at the moment can be controlled by a single encoder only. Double tap the encoder to go into the menu and tap it one time to leave the menu. Turn the encoder to change parameters or go to the next menu. Minidex runs 8 virtual DX7 FM synthesizers with 16 voices of polyphony each on your Raspberry Pi. Synths can be panned and reverb can be added. Let's use the onboard editor. At the moment we can hear the default sound which is a pure sine wave. First I'll adjust the envelope of the first operator. We're using algorithm 1 which looks like this. Double tap the patch name and go all the way to the right to get to the editor. Oh by the way I'll place my watch here so you can see how much real time passed while shooting this video. I'll speed up parts of this video so you can bear to watch it. First I'll adjust the envelope of operator 1. Double tap here and then move all the way over to envelope generator 1, which in other words is the attack phase length. We want to draw this out a little bit so the sound begins slowly. A value of around 30 out of 100 might work here. I want this sound to have a long release too, so push the encoder once to leave this menu, move over to EG rate 4 and then choose a value of around 50 out of 100 for the release. Now let's move on to operator 2. Operator 2 is a modulator of operator 1, so the higher its volume, the brighter the sound. So double tap this and first we'll adjust the overall level. This will also be the maximum level this operator will get once we adjusted the amp envelope. I'll use a value of around 60 here. You can hear the sound got slightly brighter there. Next I want to adjust the amp envelope of this operator with a slow attack and a long release, even slower an attack than that of the carrier, so the sound gradually gets brighter. For this to happen I once again adjust EG rate 1 with a value of around 20. I will also use a longer subdued sustained phase on this operator so the sound's brightness peaks and then slowly retracts to slightly lower brightness. Envelope generator 4 will work with a value of around 0 so this modulator fades away together with the carrier. Ok, I still need to adjust that sustain level for full effect. Nice. Now let's continue with operator 3 which is sitting on the next branch of algorithm 1, so it's a carrier. I want this one to have a slightly faster yet slow attack. But first let's set its overall volume to around 100. I'll also detune this carrier for a slightly fuller sound. I'll once again adjust the envelope so the attack rate is around 30 and the release rate is around 40. Moving on to operator 4 I'll adjust its volume to around 75. On the envelope generator change the attack rate to around 10 and the release rate to around 20 so the sound's brightness will fade away when releasing. Next up is operator 5. This will add some higher frequencies to our sound. First I'll bring up its volume to around 80 so we can hear the effect. Thank you. 
I want this to be even higher, so let's change its cause frequency to 2. Also change the release rate to around 24, so this fades out smoothly. Yeah, we're slowly closing in here. Let's work on operator 6 now. I'll set its volume to 60, so it has a medium footprint on the overall sound. Now let's increase the ratio of this modulator quite a bit, for example up to 24, so we have a super high frequency in our sound. Once again, this needs a long release phase for a smooth fade out. This sound needs some movement, so what I'm going to do here is to set up the LFO to modulate the amplitude of most of the modulators. Scroll right in the menu and set up an LFO speed of around 30, set the amplitude modulation depth to around 80, and also set the LFO type to sample and hold. This will introduce a seemingly random element to this patch. This hasn't changed a lot. We still need to adjust the individual modulator's reaction to the LFO. But first, turn off the pitch modulation sensitivity, as we don't want the sound to start wobbling when we use the mod wheel. Now, we need to change the modulation sensitivity for each modulator that we want the LFO to have an effect on. We'll start with operator 2, as it is the modulator of operator 1. Now, double tap this and set the amplitude modulation sensitivity to 1. We will then repeat this with operator 4, 5 and 6 and this brings us to this result. Uh, by the way, if you like this video and find content like this interesting and if you want to see more on Raspberry Pi synthesizers and other stuff, please hit those like and subscribe buttons now. Seeing those numbers grow makes me happy and keeps me motivated to post new videos. Thank you.
Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this useful and interesting, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.